Well, hello there again. Welcome back. This is part 12 uh, of the Enterprise refit. Uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, Aztec masking for the back of the the uh, nacelle here. This is be the starboard side uh, inboard uh, nacelle. And you can see here what I've done is I've already put my maskings on for all three sections back here and pulled the grid line. So what I'm going to do now is uh, spray those grid lines and get set up for gold for the gold part. Uh, this will be uh, unfortunately this will be the last uh, how-to video before the big reveal uh, in about a week or so. Uh, five months or six months I've been working on this uh, model now and it's finally getting close to being done. I've still got some detail work to do on the uh, rest of the model just a few little little things here and there uh, I have to put the um, pair graphics uh, photo etch set on the back of the uh, impulse engines there and I've got to put the detail around the uh, deflector dish everything else is going I've got it all wired up hooked in and it all works nice now so uh, I'll take you over to this, kind of show you a glimpse of the ship now that it's uh, done. I'm still waiting on some masking to come in uh, for a couple of sections of the ship. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in and uh, show you kind of what we're doing here. Get set up here. Pardon the camera, folks. There we go. And so you can see I've got my masking set up here. I'm gonna pull the I've pulled the grid lines to separate them all. I've got a piece of masking here that's kind of giving me a fight, but uh, all the rest of them set down real nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got my gold set up in my set up in my my uh, spray gun here, and I'm gonna spray a good coat on there to get the grid lines started so here we go just kind of go back and forth roll it around to get the get the lines and well there we go all right now I'll take my dryer here and Take gun and give it a little bit of heat to kind of get that now while I'm doing that. <clears throat> while that's drying a little bit more, I'll figure out which ones I want to do in gold. Uh, a lot of people, you can do the masking setup the way the original refit is. Uh, if you, you know, if you have the the uh, the material to the uh, file papers to do it or you can look it up online uh, I'm just going to kind of go through and do my own uh, my own thing and uh, I'm just going to kind of break it up uh, and go from there so uh, I'm going to do this one here and then I'm going to come down here and do this one middle one right here and I've got my wax paper here set up to stick the stick the uh, masking down I'm gonna hit this bottom one basically four colors here. Going to have red, 
we're going to have gold, blue, white, and red. So I'm going to pull I'm going to pull this big one here. Oh, it just stops here. So. Pull that one there. Again, I'm just kind of doing a random pattern here. Just to give you fair warnings, heads up, these maskings on the bottom here are kind of really finicky. So it makes it really hard to get a good, uh, really hard to get a good set on it because they will fall off. Uh, this one here. And then I think I will grab this one here. I'll come over here and grab that one there. Grab one of these down here that's being finicky. And ever so often, I'm leaving big enough where I can do red and blue and some of these other ones. And then since this one was a small one here, I'm going to go ahead and take this one too. one right here and I'm going to leave these back ones white since they're being real real finicky take that one there all right now you see we have our pattern or as my son calls it, a pattern. So here's our pattern for our gold. So I'll go ahead and get that <clears throat> and get that sprayed down. So there we go. Just give it a give it a light dust in here. Now I'll take my heat gun and and one trick I learned from uh, Boyd is when you have your doing several mask colors, I, he takes a marker and he does uh, puts dots. You know, one dot for gold, two dots for blue so on and so forth. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and put I also want to give a shout out to a fellow builder of mine. Friend builder's name is uh, Joey Shipman. He does really good work. Uh, he, you can find a lot of his work on Facebook. Right, that should be dry enough now. I can start putting these back. <clears throat> and then before I do that, while I'm let that dry, I'm going to get my gold set back up, or uh, get my paint gun cleaned out and set up for, uh, set up for blue. shake up my blue here. All 
All right. Oops. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't mean to hit the tripod. All right. I'm gonna put these back on. I also want to take the time out to uh, tell anyone that um, I would like to start doing commission work for clients. If anybody's interested, uh, you can send me a send me a, a message through YouTube, or you can uh, send me a email. Through my email is uh, the letter J in my last name Demko. It's D E M K O at eight zero at gmail dot com. I'd love to start doing doing uh, build work for the folks who'd like to who have to want you know want it done. I love doing this kind of work. I have to reset that one. Alright, now we're set up for ready for blue, so I'll go through here and pull out the blue ones. We'll do that one. This one. So this blue one here. And bottom.
that one there. Good to me. Now I have to kind of hurry because these these maskings here that I've already put back on are kind of wanting to fill off. So go ahead and start <clears throat> spraying. That's drying for a second or two more. I'm going to go ahead and switch out and get ready for it. Now when that's <clears throat> done, so I keep kicking the tripod. All right, now I'm going to put two blue dots on these. I don't quite get my. these on fast because those other ones are peeling off pretty quick losing their adhesive
folks, just a few more here. I don't know, but now we're set up for the final color. <clears throat> that one there. that little one. And I'll leave <clears throat> that one. That one. When these masks get ready to come off, they get ready to come off. They don't want to stay on anymore. And I'll do this one right here. All right. Now this is going to be fun trying to get these masks <clears throat> sprayed. Try to get this done. All right. Now that we have come off on me. Same one. All right, here we go. have all that and <clears throat> back out just a little bit. I'll start pulling these masks, masks off. You'll be able to see the different colors.
one thing I hate about masking is it takes forever to get off. Now, <clears throat> I'll zoom in if I can. Set up, see if you can see this in the light. I don't know if you're going to be able to get a good shot of this, but you can get a good look at the blue and the red and the gold. And you can see the high lines there. It was uh, that's the brick and mortar pattern. So uh, that's gonna be that. Uh, that'll be the last time. This will be the last video. Like I said, this will be the last video until the big reveal. Uh, I got one to sell, put on and mounted on. Well, let me uh, let me see if I can't hold the camera off here without moving too much all right let me show you here take you over here and show you that you know there's the I still got a little bit of masking to put on around here and I still got the detail bands to put on around the bridge uh, a few I got uh, one one little circle, uh, square detail here and then uh, one right here that I gotta put on I've gotten all the RCS thruster lights uh, all, the, all them uh, painted uh, there's the nacelle mounted on and you got the the registration numbers put on both sides so it's gonna turn out real real good and you can see uh, as we pass over the light there you see all those uh, real pretty shimmer from the uh, the iridescent paints. So uh, it's looking looking very very good. I'm excited about it. Uh, I also got um, the sensor band put on uh, around here. You can't see it very well in the dark, but also on the uh, let me, I can't shine some light over here. As you can see there, I got the registration put on uh, right there on the on the, the the side of the sensor band put on. Same thing on the other side. I got the decals put on for that. Uh, I got the lighting done in here. I got a few a uh, couple of decals that I got to replace over. A uh, couple of decals I got to replace over on this side. But other than that, she's pretty much done. Like I said, I got to put some uh, the white grid lines in here, uh, some touch-up paint on the torpedo tubes, uh, and some touch-up paint here. And then I got to put the decals for here from uh, HDA Model Works. And then uh, once I get uh, once I get the uh, ring here from. Uh, orbital dry dock I'll have that finished uh, I may just go ahead and use the masking from the set or the decals from the set and paint those uh, just to get it over with but uh, the next time you see me I'll have this thing uh, to where it's lit up and uh, uh, going and, and I'll take you through the demo mode and everything else like that so but uh, let me see if I swing back over to the to the uh, the uh, nacelle here. Let's see if I can get you a better view of the of the the uh, detail work that's on this. It goes into this masking. And as you can see there, the gold, the red, the blue. Uh, oops, I dropped it. 
Um, and it's a it's a very very good. I'll swing in a little bit more and show you. You can see all the, the real pretty the real pretty uh, grid lines there, and I'll take them and and clean them up a little bit. And then what I'll do is after I get that all cleaned up, I'll use uh, this is a very good uh, very good. Um, uh, acrylic not acrylic uh, le uh, lacquer clear coat from mr. hobby I got this and you can get this at your local hobby store I got this at uh, hobby town USA there in Plano Texas so uh, they've been real helpful there to me and like I said uh, again I've been talking to uh, Joey Shipman uh, from Facebook and uh, he's been real helpful on some tips and 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 hints and stuff like that so thank you Joey for that and again thanks again for Ralph at Tenet Controls for the uh, board and uh, again uh, if anybody wants me to do a build for them because I love doing this uh, I'd love to do commission work just uh, hit me up through uh, YouTube and I will be more than happy to get back to you get you some information uh, the next build that I'm going to do after this one is going to be the J.J. Uh, Abrams version of the Enterprise uh, Into Darkness model kit, and that one's going to be kind of interesting on that one. Went and saw the new movie, uh, Star Trek Beyond. That was a very good movie. I was excited to see it. Um, some events happened. Uh, I'm not going to tell you about it, but uh, you got to go see it yourself. But uh, it's very good. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said again, the next time that y'all will see this, uh, all the masking, all the Aztecing will be through on the nacelles, and it'll be mounted. I'll have the registration numbers put on uh, put on the nacelles, both sides. Uh, I got the tops. Uh, the top's already done, uh, the gold and the blue and the red. You can see there, it looks very, very nice. So, and I got the, on the outside, here I've already gotten the Aztecing done for the front of the nacelle there. Got to paint the outside, uh, outside part black. And right in here, if you notice in the, in the movie motion picture, it's copper, not uh, yeah, copper. So, and then on the front here is going to be uh, the duck egg blue. So I got pretty much all that, uh, and I got a few uh, on both sides here. I got to put the masking sets here and then one here on both sides, and then we'll be through with that. So, and then I got to put the uh, the rib that goes on here. Uh, it'll be ready to go, so uh, it's looking good. And uh, so uh, we'll see you again. Uh, until then, uh, as a fellow model builder said, happy modeling. Uh, I can't find any other good words for it, but uh, I try not to use that too much because that's his line. So. Uh, anyway, uh, have a good night, and we'll see you on the fi uh, finale. Thank you.